there seems to be a bit of a, a trend, not a big trend, but a slight trend towards all-in-one. A-O-I. No, A-I-O. -A. <laughs> all-in-one computer. Now, this is the, the rear. And I'll, I'll just turn it around and show you. You see the screen is on the other side. This is an Acer. Uh, I'll just move that down a bit. Now, a ZC606 is the type number. Acer ZC606. Unfortunately, what happened, uh, I had it on the table and it fell forward and it landed on the screen and when I lifted it back up again the screen was all had lines and I, I damaged the uh, there's only that much of the screen that was working it's absolutely useless now but uh, I'm sure most of this at the back is still okay but uh, it's quite interesting the way they they get it all in into one unit uh, like that it's when I first saw it, somebody had one of these, I said, where's the, where's the tower? And the person said, what tower? And uh, I said, the box under the table. And they said, no, no, there's no box. It's all, everything's in the, in the back of the, the screen. And there you go, there's uh, the 500 gigabyte hard drive. I might just zoom in a little bit, not too much. There's a 500 gigabyte hard drive. There's only one fan, it's very, very quiet. You wouldn't even hear it. You'd have to be in a very quiet room with no background noise to hear it. And uh, as you can see, it blows air out onto the CPU with its heat sink there. And um, that's the motherboard. It's got four gigs, four gigabytes of RAM under there. That's the the RAM is there. Uh, what else? Oh yes, and here, just turn that around a bit, and I'll see if I can. No, I won't bother zooming in. DVD CD player you push it in from the side here now, I put a line through DVD because it won't play it won't play DVD movies with pictures on it'll play DVD script and CD with script on but it won't play movies unlike because this is Win, um, Windows 8.1 unlike Windows 7 which will you know, you just put a DVD into your tower and press the button and it starts playing on the screen. This won't do it. That's it's a, a downside of uh, Windows 8.1. So in order to play DVD movies, I had to download... It's free. It's a program called VLC. And I'm sure most of you have heard of it. So... Uh, I'll hang on to this because there's still probably some useful parts. It's it's less than a year old. Cost me just under six hundred dollars, but luckily I I've gone back to the old computer for the time being. As a matter of fact, I find the old computer with its bigger old t fashion type uh, monitor screen, which is more squarish than this type. Uh, easier to use, it's easier to scroll down um, so no great loss uh, this cover I removed, that went over there you see over the motherboard and uh, oh, I'll just show you the back this is the, the rear that I removed push that down there you see, that's the that's the rear the cover and uh, I just uh, I just undid the screws and took it off and uh, but it's it's still a very interesting uh, 
little computer, this, it's, you know, it does the job. I guess you'd call it a beginner's entry level, maybe. Now, I, I see them being sold for around 500 and something dollars at the moment, brand new, so. But, you know, it's, you don't have to worry about, if you want a desktop, that is, and I only use desktops, I won't use uh, the, those little portable things or smartphones, I only use desktops. This is, a, this is a good little desktop because it's all in one. You don't have to worry about putting a, a tower under the table and all that rubbish. So uh, that's the, uh, the Acer ZC606.